Hey guys, welcome back to the Sandbox Social. Planet Coaster has launched, and one of the many awesome features included is the ability to attach triggers to your rides. This is helpful when theming, and you want to control the animatronics, lights or effects to trigger at a precise moment, giving an immersive ride experience. Setting up your triggers is fairly simple, and the great thing is you can edit them even when the ride is still open, if you want to make changes. The first thing you should do is check which objects you want to trigger, and then make sure they have Activate on Trigger checked. This will stop them from playing their animations in a loop, and wait until prompted by that trigger. Now you can select the ride, and you'll notice a tab on the far right called Triggers, which looks like a switch. In this section, you can view the total amount of trigger points and scenery events. Pressing Edit Triggers will take you to a separate menu where you can manage all the triggers attached to this ride. You can create a new trigger by pressing Add Trigger. This will display your first trigger point. You can also rename, test and delete if need be. You will also see a down arrow. This drop down menu will show all the objects attached to this one trigger. If you press add object to trigger and select a piece of scenery to attach, you can now see the name of each object under this trigger. You'll notice your first trigger point is now displayed on the track. It can be moved to the point you want it to activate. Remember the trigger will activate when the carriage hits the marker, so it's best to leave some distance between the marker and the objects. You can group objects under the one trigger, or simply add more triggers, repeating the previous steps. I hope this quick tutorial on creating triggers in Planet Coaster helps. Please hit the like button to show your support and subscribe for more videos like this. Happy sandboxing, and I'll see you in the next video.